Shattered Family, also known as A Place to Be Loved, is a really good film. This is exactly my kind of film, but I hadn't heard of this until recently when I was looking through Rhea Perlman's filmography and I discovered this and I thought that sounds brilliant, really want to prioritise watching it, and I did, and I'm pleased to say it is very good. This was released in 1993. It's directed by Sandy Small and written by Blair Ferguson, and it stars Richard Crenna, Linda Kelsey, of course, we have Rhea Perlman, we also have Tom Guyry as Gregory, who also goes by the name of Sean in this film, because Gregory is a boy who lives in a boy's home, and the Russ family decide to foster him, and they realise quite quickly that they might actually want to adopt him, but there are problems with Gregory or Sean's birth parents and they might be causing problems for that. And all Gregory wants to be is adopted in a family and feel like he has a place where he belongs. But it seems like the system doesn't necessarily care to take his wishes into consideration. Will he actually be able to be adopted by the Ross family or not? I won't answer that question, of course, but I thought it was a really moving story. The characters are all really likeable. I love the fact that Gregory, or Sean, isn't perfect. He decides to call himself Sean after this, I, I guess, to have a fresh start, a new opportunity, a new name. So I apologise if I kind of go back and forth between the two names. He's not perfect in the sense that his behaviour isn't perfect. And I think that was really important to make him a very realistic, believable character. But the Russ family still love him. The Russ family is also very large. They have eight children already. So with Gregory or Sean, that makes nine. And it's quite chaotic some of the time. But it's really nice to see... The children warming up to Gregory at different rates. Not everybody is completely enthusiastic about him being there all of the time. And again, I think that feels very realistic. And I really thoroughly enjoyed watching the characters get to know Gregory or Sean as we the viewer do as well. And as the film progresses, things get more emotional and frustrating as well, particularly when we realise that what the child wants at this point in time in this film, doesn't necessarily matter. I don't know if it's different in the States now, but I know in the UK, the children's wishes do get taken into consideration, not necessarily all of the time, but they are at least asked what they want. And again, there may be times when that isn't the case, but in general, the child's wishes is taken into consideration whether or not it shapes the final outcome. It's not always guaranteed. But with this, it seems like what Gregory wanted did not matter for a lot of this. And that obviously shaped the direction of the narrative. But I found it to be very moving, very thought-provoking, really great characters, really enjoyed following their journeys. And I have no complaints. As I said, this is exactly my kind of story. This is my kind of film. And when I discovered it, when looking at Rhea Perlman's films, I was very excited to watch this. And I'm pleased to say it did not disappoint. If this is your kind of story as well, definitely watch Shattered Family or A Place to Be Loved because I thought it was a, a pretty great experience. And while I probably would never watch it again, at least I can't imagine I'd watch it a second time, I did thoroughly enjoy it. Definitely a very moving film. And if it sounds like your kind of thing, then I'd say it's one that's definitely worth watching.